everyone. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use our custom widget within our content editor. Now what this allows us to do is it allows us to load in URLs and web pages uh, as well as being able to bring in some HTML code within our content editor. Now to go ahead and show this, uh, let me just bring in the custom widget here so you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. And I'm going to go ahead and expand it a little bit. Now if I were to come over here to content type under our properties panel, you can see that I have that HTML code option, but as I mentioned, we can load in URLs as well. So if I click this, it's gonna go ahead and take me to Wikipedia. So if I make this just a little bit larger here and I come over to our other tab, these are gonna be our more advanced properties where we can give it an animation. And then I can also give it a th something such as a border, round it out, um, and even change the opacity. Now, let's say I didn't want to load in a URL and I wanted to load in, uh, you know, let's say some HTML code. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this here so it doesn't keep these advanced properties. I'm gonna drag another widget in. And now I can go ahead and select the HTML code. And what I wanna do is I wanna remove this code that is already in here and I wanna paste in something that I already have. So once I've pasted this in, you've noticed that the change hasn't taken an effect like our uh, URL did. Now this is due to security protocols and uh, it's only going to allow you to view this uh, HTML code within an unauthenticated browser. So to go ahead and demonstrate this, let me just go ahead and go into an incognito window on Google Chrome. All right, now that we're in an incognito window, I went ahead and went full screen here, but as you can see, we now have some rain displaying on our canvas here. Now, this is in the preview mode, but let's say I wanted to make something a little bit more advanced and, you know, just get a cool effect added to an image. I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. All right, now that we are back in our content editor, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you how we can load in some of that HTML code with that rain effect that I just showed and add an effect to an image. So let's go ahead and bring in an image. And let's make this the full size of the screen. Now we're gonna have to do this with the HTML code as well, but let's do this with the image first. And I'm gonna select the source image here. And then I have the image loaded. I wanna go ahead and have the HTML code in the foreground here. And I need to make this the size of our canvas as well. As you can see, I'm taking advantage of our presets here to quickly align things. And as you can see, I already have that HTML code that I had previously in this box here. Now, if I click save here and I go to preview in an incognito browser, you're going to see this nice effect. All right, now that we're back in the incognito browser and we're previewing, you can now see that we have that nice rain effect over our image. So that's going to be it for this video on how to use our custom widget. I hope you got a better understanding of how to load in URLs as well as custom HTML. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at Thank you and see you next time.